In this lecture, we will look into the Bayesian network. So, sometimes we need to calculate probability of uncertain cause given observed evidence. For example, we would like to know the probability of a specific disease when we observe symptoms in a person. Such problems are often not complex, notably complex with many interrelated variables. So, while diagnosing certain disease, uh, one way to deal with such kind of a problem is that it is a question of uncertainty. So there could be a four symptoms a patient could have and an expert system could be fed that four systems and it could come with probability like there's a probability that the person is having X disease. The probability is 40% for an X disease, 30% for a Y disease and similarly such kind of computation could be derived and this is working in uncertainty and when you are working in uncertainty you will need to consider algorithms which can work with uncertainty and one of those algorithms is Bayesian network and if you consider a simple example the Bayesian network is a large field and to illustrate that a simple example could be considered how it could work in a certain situation so the situation here is that the grass is wet and two there can be two causes for the grass is wet one is that sprinkler is on and the other is that it's raining and it's generally understood that while it's raining the sprinkler is not turned on so the different probability based on the observation are given like it's both false that it's not the sprinkler is off and the rain is not there so the chance that the grass is wet true is zero and false is one so based on that some kind of observation is done and based on that observation the probability before is computed before or the prior probability is computed and based on those observations you can write a problem or you can write an algorithm and feed that this knowledge into the knowledge base based on the probabilities prior and you could compute based on those pr probability to take certain decisions so so based on the conditional probability or the joint probability we will we will see that how a certain question could be answered so these are the formulas for computing like the rain is there and the grass is also wet. So what is the probability that the, the rain and the grass both are the, happening at the same time? So such kind of questions can be answered using the conditional probability. So a simple way to calculate the conditional probability for the grass is also wet the sprinkler is also on and the rain is also true and based on the above formula if you compute the values from the previous table and it can be found that the probability of this is 0.0198 so the chance that the grass is also wet and the sprinkler is also on and the rain is also on so all the three things happening together is 0.0198 and you are also considering to consider that the rain is there and the grass is wet to coming up simply you can consider that the grass is wet the sprinkler is on and the rain is there that probability is 0 0.0198 similarly the grass is wet and the sprinkler is off and the rain is on that probability is 0 0.1584 and the grass is wet, the sprinkler is on and the rain is false that probability is 0 0.288 and you are con computing all the probabilities and it is finally found that based on this formula you can find that the probability that it is raining and the grass is wet is close to 35.77 percent so based on this you can answer certain questions like what is the probability of the grass to be wet if it is raining and if you have a problem based on this algorithm and you have the rules in the knowledge base then you can simply the system will output that the probability is 35.7 percent so such kind of questions and answers can be found out using Bayesian network and it's one of the tool used for reasoning in uncertainty by using in the field of artificial intelligence that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like